Hi everyone, it's Heidi Scott here, and today I'm going to be showing you the how-to of painting and gilding sand dollars. So I hope that this will be a good um, explanation of how to do that and that you will feel empowered to go and do the very same. So these are the finished products, or some, of what you could do. This one has um, gold leaf on the front, around the edges, around the little star thing in the front. And this one I actually painted um, a very light blue color and it has silver gilding. So, but I'm gonna show you some other ideas too. So let's start. Um, first of all, does everyone know how to find sand dollars? Well, let me warn you first of all, that it's not legal everywhere you go. So check with your location and I'm not sure if it's just an East Coast thing, but if it's uh, legal where you are and um, you want to find some sand dollars, you can of course look for them along the beach, but you can also go out in the ocean about chest high and feel around on the bottom of the ocean floor with your feet. And it's amazing. You will just start finding them. Now, these ones are going to be alive. So I don't know if you have a problem with that. Um, they need to dry out uh, after you pull them up and then you're gonna want to bleach them to get the white color. Uh, but even if you bleach them, sometimes they have a little defect on them, like a little brown spot or something. I don't know if you can see. There we go, that's better. And um, this is the reason, one of the reasons why I've decided to paint my sand dollars before I gild them. I don't want to gild something that has a big brown blotch on it. So, um, that's one reason to paint them before you gild them. Another reason is that the gilding does not stick very well. Uh, the size and the gilding does not stick very well to sand dollars, I guess because they're so porous. So, um, I'm going to show you what I did. I um, I took some of our Maker Studio paint. This color is called Blessed. And with a sponge brush, I basically just painted the whole sand dollar, front and back, okay? And um, then I let it dry. And when it was completely dry, just one coat, then I took my gilding size. And that's this uh, product right here that a Maker Studio sells. Um, okay, and I'm going to show you step by step what I would do. Well, first of all, I took a little um, sponge dome brush and I dipped it in my gilding size. And then I picked up my sand dollar and I just tapped it, the gilding size, the sticky glue stuff for, for gold and silver and copper leaf. I just dabbed it all the way around the edges on the front and the back. And um, as I've said before in my Facebook Lives, I'm a messy craft girl, so I don't try to be precise about it. But if that's something that's important to you, you can actually paint it on and do it in a perfect straight line. I think it looks uh, prettier when it's a little jagged. Okay, so I've gone around the outside. The next thing I'm gonna do if you look close at sand dollars, you'll notice that they have this little star in the center. So I'm just going to put in my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm, I dipped my artist brush in my gilding size. And I'm just going to apply on the raised part of the sand dollar where that little star is. And if you actually look at a sand dollar, you'll see that there's an outside part of this little flower star thing, and then there's an inside. So you can gild either the inside part or the outside part. It's completely up to you. So once you get the gilding size on your sand dollar, you need to wait about 15 minutes for it to come to tack. Let me put this out of the way. And about 15 minutes before we started, I did that for some other sand dollars, and then I'm gonna actually show you the process of applying the leaf. Gosh, my fingers are so sticky. Okay, um, so let's take this one here first. 
This is just painted white and it has the gilding size around it and then also on the little star in the center. So I'm going for this one to take some gold leaf and this comes in a little booklet of 25 sheets. It's very reasonably priced from a maker studio. I love this stuff. Gold is my favorite color this year. And I'm just gonna separate the sheets and try not to get stuck on another sand dollar next door. And I'm going to flip this sheet of gold leaf over the top of my sand dollar and then burnish it. Yesterday I did another video where I talked about just um, gilding seashells. And uh, this is a little different because of the fact that you really do have to paint them first in order for the guild to stick. But these are a couple of the ones that I showed yesterday of gilding. Okay, so once I put uh, my gold leaf on it, I'm gonna press it down. And there's gonna be places where the gold leaf comes up and your fingers are gonna get gold leaf too. Um, so you just kind of move the little pieces of foil around to cover all the areas. And again, this does not have to be perfect. So I'm doing the front and the back. Okay, once I have this applied on here and I've burnished it, I can either use a piece of the orange paper that comes in the booklet to, um, to take the excess gold leaf off, or I can use a stiff brush, which I have right here. So I, I prefer to use a brush. So you're just gonna start pouncing and dragging on your seashell. This one, I did the gold leaf on the outside part of the little star. So let me see if I can get that to come off so I can show you. If you weren't doing a Facebook Live, it would be good to stand up and go to the kitchen sink and wash your hands before you move from one step to the other because otherwise your fingers are very sticky and um, it's a little messy. Okay, so I think this one turned out really pretty. What do you think? And it was so easy. And it's not perfect, but nothing in nature is ever perfect. We aren't perfect either. So that was one example, and I'm gonna just put this in my little sand dish here. Okay, another thing I wanted to show you was this one. Um, this one I combined when I was painting it with our white uh, blessed Rescue Restore paint. I also combined, I mixed it up, a little bit of our metallic silver chalk paint. And I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out, but I think it turned out great. So it's a little sparkly. And I am going to work on that one over here so I don't get gold leaf all in it. So, whoops, wrong one. Was I showing you the blue one? I meant to show you this one, sorry. Operator error. This one is the one that I painted with the combination of white and the silver metallic chalk. So I just did the outside of this one, and I'm gonna take a sheet of my silver leaf, I'm gonna lay it down on top of it, pick it up, wrap it around the edges, and burnish it with the, burnish just means rub it in really good with the um, pink paper that comes with the, the gold and silver leaf foils. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the brush method of removing the excess foil. You can see this takes absolutely no artistic ability to do, and it really does not take very long. And when I'm done, I'll just use a wet sponge with water to sort of pick up all the little pieces of gold and silver leaf that are on my table. There'll be some in my hair and some on my shirt and lots on my fingernails, but it comes off easy. Okay, so that is the finished product. It's um, 
the sand dollar itself is sort of sparkly and then it has a silver leaf on it. Okay, same idea with this one. It's the one that I painted light blue. This was just a combination of our uh, a Maker Studio Blessed White Rescue Restore paint and then I used my cute as a button, my favorite blue chalk art. I mixed a little bit of that in with it. Stirred it up really good with the plastic spoon and then I gilded just around the edges with this one. And I'm going to do this one in silver again. So I'm just going to lay it down. I'm going to get out. I cannot even believe how many projects I've done with my uh, gold and silver leaf and I still have lots more. This goes so far. So I'm going to pick up a sheet of the silver leaf, lay it down on top of this blue sand dollar. Make sure everything's covered. And then I'm going to burnish it. I'm going to take the excess off with my brush. And that's the finished product. It's a very, very light, light blue. And it has the silver leaf around it. And while I'm talking about paint colors, um, let me just tell you my preference. I would not be attracted to sand dollars that were painted hot pink or orange or green because they would not look like anything you would ever find in nature. So I would be more attracted to sand dollars that are painted white with the color of leaf that you prefer, or very, very light blue, or a um, metallic, uh, sparkly sort of finish. Um, but that's completely up to you. If you want to do sand dollars in the colors of your college football team, that works too. And um, while I'm talking about sand dollars, another cute thing you can do with them, this one I haven't painted or gilded, but you can hot glue them to just about any surface. And this was just a little terracotta pot that I made as a teacher's gift. I made several of these and this was the one that I didn't end up giving to a teacher. And um, I filled it with some blue fingernail polish and just fun things with this blue thing. But you can do so many things with sand dollars. So um, this week I'm also gonna show you a demonstration on how to use gold leaf or silver leaf on fabric. Um, right now I've got gold leaf on my gold and silver leaf on my brain, but watch for that. And if you are not a follower of my Facebook business page, please go there and follow or like it. It's facebook.com slash DIY dreaming. So I'm always DIY dreaming up new ideas and I don't want you to miss any of them. Thank you so much and have a great day.